Hey guys and welcome to Xena GK. I'm Gary and this is uh, another video. Yeah. <laughs> so basically if you haven't heard my dear Xena fans, Xena Dees, the person that was in charge of writing the script for Xena has left the project, left the reboot. So what are my thoughts on this? Well, first of all, I wasn't really sure that that person was the right uh, person to write Xena. I'm not saying that I know this because I don't. Until we actually see a Xena reboot, uh, you know, by this person, we'll never actually know whether or not he was the right person to write Xena. But what to tell you guys, I'm not really sure how to feel about that. From one hand, I think that it's a good thing. From the other, I'm not sure because now we don't know what the hell is going to happen with Xena. Are we really going to get a reboot? The reboot was scheduled for 2016 as far as I heard the first time but now it's 2017 and we are not seeing any new Xena running around on the TV screens so what? What's going to happen guys? I have no idea. I honestly don't know if we're going to get Xena. Whether or not Lucy and Renee have to reprise their roles, I would say yeah, of course. They are Xena and Gabrielle, so for me they're perfect. Like beyond even perfect. I can't imagine anyone playing. And you know this. So I don't know what's going to happen. If you have any news you can let me know, but for now I don't know any updates about this. It's unfortunate, uh, might be for the better though, so we just have to wait and see, but uh, we shouldn't stop nagging them on the head, uh, you know, about making the Xena reboot. And since I never discussed this on this channel, I did do a hangout by the way, and you can see that on my Gary G Reviews channel. I did that months ago. The topic was whether or not Xena should be a full lesbian, because that was the thing that this writer wanted to make Xena be in the new reboot. He wanted to make her a full lesbian. And I did that topic, like I said, and my thoughts, if I have to summon everything up, I would say that I prefer Xena to be the way that she was in the original. Everything that is going to be, you know, different from the original. Of course, I probably would not like because original it is Xena. I prefer if this is like a subtext again. Although, I can't stress this enough, when I was growing up I never really thought that Xena was lesbian at all. I just never saw that, maybe because I'm straight, but I just never saw that. You know, those episodes that I'm talking about, the jokes about the fish under the water and all of that. just. Yeah, never even occurred to me because I know how girls can be just playing around having fun. I did similar things with my friends, I mean not underwater, not with the soup and not with the fish, but I, I mean it's it's like a child's play basically, I never took it anything different. And granted I saw Xena when I was a kid uh, and I saw Xena um, uh, in 2002, not like everybody else, in 1995, because it would be impossible to see that uh, Xena then. So yeah, in 2002, uh, no matter actually what year was it, I never, never saw uh, Xena to be a lesbian. And although I know that is kind of confirmed, uh, because one of the writers was a female and she was a lesbian, I just prefer things to be the way that they stayed. Always wondering, I mean, they kid about this uh, in the sixth season, one of the episodes, and that was never confirmed in the TV show itself. So, until that is actually confirmed in the TV show, I'm like, I have no idea. I just don't see it in that way. I, let's leave it at that. So, I mean, having Xena to be maybe bisexual is going to be a lot more interesting. Maybe she should be openly bisexual because then we're going to see relationship with women and with men and her relationship with men, uh, they were very interesting and uh, that is her just her history. She learned a lot from the guys that she uh, was um, using, so to speak. They really taught her a lot of things about life and how to be a warrior and such because, you know, when she met a lot of those guys, she was very young. Ares was uh, very present in her life also. Although he's a jerk and we all know that and Baraias was a jerk at first, 
that he became good and so on but those relationships are very interesting her brief encounter with uh, Ulysses, Hercules, amazing stuff that people are you know shipping and like, obsessing about for years I, I don't want this to be taken from her character those uh, interactions with the guys it's going to be very good because Zena used her femininity and you know to trick them to make them uh, underestimate her and that also goes with the times I mean those are ancient times and she was a woman warrior so it's not like every second woman is a warrior or something like that yes there was you know Amazons but it's not the same because she's warrior princess and that is a title that only Zena can have but anyway guys so basically what I'm saying is if there's going to be a reboot, if there's going to be a new Xena or even Lucy, if she's going to reprise her role, let everything be the way that it was. Or just make her bisexual if you like. I don't really care. I honestly do not care, but uh, I think that the show is going to be much more interesting in terms of character interactions. And if the story has to start from the beginning uh, as a real reboot, if the old show is not even counting uh, as existing as a story and continuity, they should definitely, most definitely keep the show the way that it was in its original form so Xena can have the same story, the same interactions with you know, with guys and then with girls if she must or, you know, keep it like subtext and maybe then reveal that she's bisexual or something like that. And also, her relationship with Gabrielle does not need to be uh, a love one, uh, a love relationship. They could be the way that they were for now because two friends can be that faithful and can love each other. Uh, and can develop this amazing thing that only they could have. The show relied a lot uh, on their relationship, how deep it was, and how we never saw relationship between women that deep, so... and not knowing whether or not it's a sexual one or just platonic love, so... I think that this is very, very special and should be kept the way that it is. Because if they do it like, you know, full love relationship, it's not going to be as unique anymore as it is right now, the way that they left it. So I think subtext is the best, not knowing is the best. Uh, just make something different, I mean, that's going to be different from what we're seeing from other shows, full-blown, uh, you know, relationships there. So what Xena gave us was totally different, and that is what made fans obsess over it for years and years, not only of course the Xena story as a story, but their amazing friendship that lasts over lifetimes and even after death, so absolutely no contest, the best relationship on screen ever, so yeah, keep it that way, that's just my opinion guys. Uh, if any, any of um, the bisexual or lesbian Xena fans are watching, I just hope that you can understand me correctly, I have nothing against lesbian couples or anything like that on screen or otherwise in life. So uh, this is just strictly my taste and how I see Xena and how I think that people uh, got in love with Xena in the first place and the relationship how I explained. So this is just best for the show, her relationship with guys were also very intriguing and interesting. Uh, just remember everybody that she hooked up with, uh, the love that she had for Marcus. It was so touching and incredible. And yeah, I think both things could be amazing. I mean, if she has re relationships, some kind of relationship with women and with guys. So either keep it that way, the way that it was, or just make her a bisexual, but keep the story like the way that it was. Because it's very unique and if they just create something that we already see in other shows, it's not going to be the same, it's not going to be Xena, it, it's going to take away the specialness that she presents with everything, story, characters, relationships. That is guys, that's my view on Xena and the reboot and the relationship status and so on. Let me know what you think, uh, do you think that Xena is going to come back? I, I'm kinda getting the feeling that I'm going to be I don't know how many years old do I wait for this, so <laughs> please make it sooner because oh, the little kids that watch Xena are going to grow up and I don't want to think about it. 
Damn it, I'm getting depressed. Okay, guys, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. If you like, you can subscribe to my Gary Reviews channel, Gary Gaming, whatever you like. Until next time, with me, Gary, Zealand GK. Watch me. I have many skills.